loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so as many of you all know, I was really excited about this launch. In fact, I posted in my community tab on YouTube talking about my excitement for it and I couldn't wait for it to launch. So of course, it hit Ulta, ran to Ulta, and I decided to pick up the foundation. And I was very disappointed when I went into the store because they didn't have all of the shades. It was really sparse. They only had one or two of the powders and they were skipping a lot of shades. Of course, they didn't have a lot of the deep shades. And if I'm not mistaken in the tone that I am in, which is a deep tan or tan, it only had a handful of the shades. So it was really disappointing. I had to pick the foundation that I thought best matched my skin tone according to what they had. So of course I'll have timestamps below just in case you want to kind of skip right to the foundation application. I do have the foundation on now as you can see so you know I think that it matches pretty good. I really didn't have to jump through hoops as far as trying to get the foundation shade to match my skin tone with this one. I honestly think that the shade that I chose was a really good match. Um, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills does boast a lot of things with this foundation. The actual name of it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. So the foundation does claim to be water resistant and it claims to be a radiant formula that is long wearing. It claims to give medium coverage as well as to have a very lightweight feeling. And uh, I think I might want to dispute that lightweight part. It claims to blur any imperfections as well as discoloration and it also claims not to give you a cakey mess type of look. It also claims to not have any flashback as well as no oxidation whatsoever and I don't know about that part. It also claims to be dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, it claims to be cruelty free and vegan. It claims to have five shade categories which would be fair, light, medium, tan, and deep as well as three under undertones which would be cool, warm, and neutral. And I think what I really like is that it's formulated without parabens, without talc, without alcohol. It also claims to be gluten as well as mineral oil free. I also wanted to quickly add and I'm sure you all already noticed this but isn't this is there like a eerie type of resemblance with the NARS Radiant Foundation bottle? Okay, they are exactly the same size, um, exactly the same bottle. Not that that matters. Also, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills second foundation. They also have a stick foundation that is out and I am in the shade Cool Golden. So, and let me just swatch this for those of you all who, uh, well, I'll swatch it on my neck so you can see. So that is what Cool Golden looks like, just in case you all are wondering. All right, so let's just get in into this foundation shall we let's get into it so it does come in a really pretty box okay all right and it's very metallic so it's kind of hard for it may be kind of hard for you all to see on the screen but it states that it's vegan cruelty free alcohol free clinically tested dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested non-comedogenic suitable for sensitive skin types long wearing no flashback um, and you even get the word foundation written really large on the side of the bottle which I thought was I don't know um, I've heard some people say that they think that that's cheesy and it kind of um, degrades the uh, foundation that it looks drugstore-ish. Uh, you can let me know what you think about that down in the comments. But anyway, this foundation does come with a pump as you can see. And as far as thickness is concerned, I would say that this foundation is on the thicker side. In fact, um, it does feel very I have to say that it does feel thick on my face. I can feel it on my face and I don't necessarily like that feeling. As you can see, I am applying one side of the foundation, excuse me. As you can see, I'm applying one side with a brush and the application really is going on smoothly. And I am going to apply a second layer just so you can see how it builds. However, I wouldn't advise going in with a 
second layer if you can avoid it because it just feels heavy on the skin to me it feels heavy so as you can see with the second layer it does build up to a medium uh, coverage um, I, I would say that it's like a high high medium so on the other side I'm, I am going to use a sponge okay and I just feel as though if you again if you're going to use this foundation and you don't need a lot of coverage because the side with the brush did provide a lot of coverage but if you don't necessarily need a lot of coverage I would say to use a sponge just to kind of keep this foundation thin because it is going to feel heavy on the skin now, now, now that's just me and you know how it's feeling to me I will go in and add another layer and as I put on the additional foundation on my face you can and see where um, when I when I put it on that it is lighter after the foundation has set on my skin for a second which is kind of leading me to believe that it does oxidize just a little bit because to me if the foundation is already applied to your face and you go in and apply a second layer it the the color should read the same so to me there is a little oxidation there and pretty much both sides do look the same however the way that it's feeling on my face the side that I used a sponge on it doesn't feel quite as heavy as the side with the brush so um, those would be my two drawbacks as of right now with this foundation is the thickness of it or at least how it is feeling on the skin and I know that by it oxidizing that could be a bit of a, a minus to some people so right here I did add a clip where I'm adding in the born this way multi-purpose concealer in butter Scotch and I blended that in and to set that I just used my covergirl translucent powder it is very light I only used a little bit of it and I went ahead and set my whole face with a powder um, overall what do I think about this in person I feel as though it just looks a bit heavy for me um, I'm looking at it again right now you all can tell me how you how it's reading to you but um, I think that this is a really good match this is 440 C and I really do think that it it's a good match it is a cool undertone which sometimes translates a little bit better if I don't get a neutral neutral undertone foundations I can kind of I can get away with those undertones for the most part of it but sometimes they leave me looking a little bit too dead red of course can't really swing that the uh, warm which a lot of times can um, read a little bit yellow sometimes I can get away with that but not so much but but cool undertones are just kind of really going to be better suited for my skin tone so yeah that is pretty much it on Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation I do need to wear it a little bit more to just kind of decide if I want to um, keep it I you know I, I really do have mixed feelings I love the shade I, I absolutely love how the shade looks on me but I feel as though it looks a little bit too heavy and I don't think that you all are reading um, how heavy it can be now as far as a wear test um, I pretty much have normal skin if I am going to get oily it's after the fifth or the sixth hour and I might get a little oily here or here so I pretty much like to reserve a lot of my wear tests for my Instagram page I'll do like little mini videos and I'll do little snippets of how a foundation is wearing for me over time so if you all are ever interested in that check me out on Instagram my name is the same keeping it simple with Bridget but yeah let me know down in the comments if you all plan on getting this foundation if you've already picked it up let me know what you think about it I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches